Hello, this is George from Cascadia Heritage Farm and my son, Vigo, from Cascadia Heritage Farm. He's wearing an iRescue Genetic Diversity. Can you show them your shirt, Vigo? Excellent. Looks great. So we're excited. We actually took a video last week, but we're having a little bit of a difficulty uploading it, so we're doing a new one about our new Malay chickens. We just got these two beautiful Malay chickens uh, last week from George in Arizona. And Neil helped us source them. So thank you both Neil and George. Uh, and, and George does a wonderful job uh, breeding these Malays. He's trying to preserve these bloodlines. He's doing a wonderful job. We've got um, one blood, bloodline, the rooster, which is from Bill uh, Sumner. And the, the hen is a little less clear as to her lineage. He did tell me the name of a guy and I'll put that in, the, in my blog um, associated with this video. But we're really excited. I'm gonna kind of zero down on these guys. And they're just wonderful, wonderful birds. We have a fairly um, tight setup right now for these guys. They, they need to have more room. But right now we're quarantining them and we need to get a better setup for them. But uh, we've been feeding them their, their chicken food and some cat food and some oyster shells and some greenery and some cranberries. And, uh, what else, Vigo? Grass twigs and grass. Grass, yep. And they seem to love it. But these are really wonderful birds. So, um, so why do we have these birds? So what we're doing here at Cascadia Heritage Farm is that we're, we're trying to appreciate the miracle of existence. And part of what we're doing is taking on these different uh, endangered and critically endangered breeds of animals. And what we're focusing on along with our horses, um, Dale's horses, Dale's ponies actually, and San Clemente goats and Royal Palm turkeys and all these different types of seals that we really like, we're focusing on the Malays. And we've been working with Malays um, for the last you know two to three years. And we've been having a hard time actually sourcing these, these, these birds. Um, We've gotten some and they've been, frankly, they've been unhealthy. And, and so what we've decided to do is we've decided to start a project, which is called the Might Project. That's Mighty gonna be the- Malay Project. Yeah, which is uh, the Mighty Malay Project. And the, the Might Project in and of itself is Malay in Invigoration Gene Hybridization Team. So we're getting people together to try to uh, breed, uh, Malays, different bloodlines of Malays, and and also to give these Malays, these American Malays, a little more vigor. We're looking to breed them and hybridize them to Indo-Gigantics, some some of seals. We're thinking about the the Kalungi and the Kalung, uh, some other types of uh, of seals. And so the goal of it is to is to make the Malay, the hybridized Malay that we're doing here is going to call be called the Mighty Malay, which again is going to be a hybrid to try to invigorate the American Malay. We're also interested in trying to preserve the, the bloodlines of the Malays here in the U.S. And, and, and George has done a fantastic job in breeding these birds and sending, sending us a few of them here. And so I, I think these birds that we've got from George are healthy. They're looking, they're looking, they're looking great to me, but we still are interested in, in, our, in our mite project and trying to invigorate other birds, other Malay birds that are here in this country and, and try to create a kind of a really magical uh, bird, something really large with a giant, giant walnut comb, something really to capture people's imagination. But we're really pleased with the birds that, that George has sent us. So we're really thankful. So thank you, George, for these wonderful, wonderful, wonderful birds. They're, they're absolutely beautiful. And we have a big project ahead of us of setting up our birds in a, in a better, uh, better uh, uh, set, setup. We actually want to do it uh, in a seal safari with these types of birds, along with the different types of uh, uh, Kalungi and the you know, gigantics. And we've, we've got a, a gentleman we're going to be visiting this weekend that has some interesting seals from uh, Punjab, which we're very excited about also. So yeah, so we're, 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 we're hoping to get other people involved in this Mighty Malay project. We're gonna be working, trying to source these, these seals, which are really hard to find because um, it's just, you know, individuals who have a, a handful of birds that reminds them of their, of their home country and, and, and people don't even uh, know much about these birds. Uh, 
many Americans don't know much about these birds. I haven't known that much about these birds, but I've, I've really gotten excited to, to learn more about the seals and, and the desire to preserve them and invigorate them where we can and do our part to try to preserve these bloodlines. And so we're hoping to work with George in the future to get some um, Rodney Prophet bloodlines. He's another breed of Malays that, that George might have some of his bloodlines too. So we're excited about that too. But all in all, we're just we're just trying to have a good time here, trying to be appreciative. And what do you have to say about all this video? How, do you like these birds? Yeah. What do you like about them? I don't know. Uh, do you, do you, oh, what about the, what we've noticed about them putting their heads when they <laughs> sleep at night? What do they do? Touch them on, tuck them under their wings. And we've noticed that some other seals that we have do the same thing, right? Not all of them. No, the black rooster and the other hen. Yeah, so just just two of our other birds. But these guys are quite wonderful. They almost look like swans or, or, or geese, how they tuck their, their heads under their wings to sleep. So I hadn't noticed that with our other birds, but, but Vigo has. And they also do the something. The black rooster also does. Yes, exactly. Um, because I think partly they have to have a long enough neck to do it. Because I think a lot of our seals, are, their necks are fairly short. So I think they have to have a fairly long neck to do it. And what I've noticed about these um, malays that we have here is that they click their beaks together a lot. They kind of Have you noticed them clicking their beaks together? No. He's going... Have you noticed that? No. I have. At night I've noticed them kind of grooming themselves and clicking their beaks together. And they also remind me of like geese or swans I've seen doing that. They're, 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 they're wonderful birds. And we also have an egg. I think we're going to start collecting the eggs and trying to incubate them once we have a, a handful of them. And more than a handful. Yeah, more than a handful. And how do you like the Malays? I like them. What do you like about them? I know. <laughs> I think we've been here before. Anyway, um, Vigo's doing a great job with these animals. He's, he's a wonderful partner. We're going to be trying to do a, a weekly video about these birds, the new birds that we're getting in. And, uh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're making some noise. They're excited about something. They're very excited about something. Um, so anyway, so we'll be doing weekly, weekly videos about our birds and about this, this uh, Mite project and you know the mighty malaise that we're trying to create the hybrid here and again we're going to be preserving these bloodlines too of, of these different malaise so yeah. so feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions and if you know anyone that has wonderful uh, seals here in the u.s let us know we're very interested and uh yeah have a wonderful day and uh say goodbye vigo hey what was that Bye. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. And bye-bye, Malays, you noisy little buggers. Goodbye.